Hey everyone, Cynthia here. Um, I'm just going to share with you really quick. I was inspired by a channel here on YouTube, So Crafty 100. I will post the link below to her channel. Her name is Yolanda, and she had created a treat tote from one of these recollections envelopes. Now, this envelope came from my corrugated cards that I purchased at Michael's and um, this was something she said and I agreed with her you know when we decorate these cards and you know make them kind of dimensional they don't they tend to not fit in these envelopes so then you're left with a bunch of these and she um, just came up with a really cute treat tote and I loved it so much I had to try it so this is what they start out looking like, just your regular envelope. And then you do follow the tutorial and you'll end up with a little paper tote like this. Not, it doesn't have this paper here, but it looks like a French fry box. Kind of reminds me of that. And she said that as well. And I was like, yeah, you know, it does. This, I just want you to see what it looks like before it's decorated. Okay, that's the back, it's the bottom. These are so, so simple, guys. Once you give them a try, you're, you're, you're probably going to get addicted and make a lot of them. Um, well, I wanted to make a treat tote for my mom because I made her a bunch of um, embellishments that she can use in her crafting and um, just give her a little trick-or-treat present. So, um, it started off once you create it, it looks like this, and then you can decorate it. And I tucked in her treats in these little bags I picked up. I put a piece of white paper in here so you could see what they look like. I thought they were really cool. And I bought these last year at Michael's, I think. And I still have a ton left over. So I put all of her treats in here. And I used a scrap piece of paper from this paper pad, the Witch's Brew Stack from DCWV that I picked up um, last year. Just so you know what paper I used. And... This is how it turned out. I think it's so cute. I hope she likes it. And I, actually, I hope she's not watching this video right now. <laughs> um, let me adjust my camera so you can see the whole thing. This is what mine turned out like. So let me start at the bottom. Um, like I said, I made the tote and then I put some of this black mesh bling all around the entire thing. And then I used some of that paper and distressed it and used some black soot. And then I wrapped around um, this really beautiful wide black lace. And then this Boo sticker is an Mar old Martha Stewart sticker I had in my stash. And I just made a bow over here. And this is one of those charms that my mom gave me. So I used it on that. I also put some black um, mesh bling all around the top. And you guys can see here. And it goes all the way to the back, all the way around. This is another Martha Stewart sticker. It was a cupcake with a little bat on the top. I thought that was really cute. And I kind of think it fit because it's a treat tote, you know. And then sticking out from the tote and the bag, I have some of this netting. And I still have this from last year in my stash. So I just cut some pieces off of that and tucked it in here and there. And then this is the bag. I didn't want to close it all the way, so I just used a piece of, um, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, black thread, and I just kind of pulled it closed a little bit and tied it so that was still kind of open. And that way I could tuck in this little guy. He's a, um, I think he's a K and Company sticker. And then I have him holding one of those pumpkin balloons, um, and that's a Martha Stewart as well. And then I have some of that you know netting sticking out of the bag and all her treats are inside and then this pumpkin balloon and this ghost and this pumpkin she can just pull right out and reuse them I didn't want to you know stick them in there too much so that she could get use out of those as well and um, so all her treats are in there oh and this little guy here is a little spider web and spider is um, K and company too so that's how my treat tote turned out and I hope she likes it. I had so much fun 
decorating this tote, guys. You got to give it a shot. I think these are so sweet, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make a ton of these up for for Christmas because I had a ball doing this. Once I got started, it, you know, at first I was like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but once I got going, it it went relatively easy. So. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. Have a fabulous time. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.